hello guys and welcome again to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to design the golden ratio now the golden ratio is a mathematical approach to graphics specifically logo design and with the concept of the golden ratio you will be able to design any type of logo so which makes it convenient for designers across the world to adopt this approach so without further delays let's get right into it now there are different ways of creating the golden ratio but i'm going to be showing you the simplest method um, so you don't have to waste your time I and mean, why stress over something that you can do easily so let's just get creating so first of all we'll get the rectangle to of course, you can still get it by pressing F6 on your keyboard. And then we're going to draw a perfect square. Right now, it's not a perfect square, but we're going to turn it into a perfect square. 2,000, no, let's make it 1,000 by 1,000. There, yeah, that's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. So, duplicate this. And... Let's zoom in a little. Uh, you can zoom in and add by pressing Ctrl. You can zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus, and you can zoom out by pressing Ctrl minus on your keyboard. So this is a duplicate of this. So just highlight this and go to the width. Delete all this. One thousand multiplied by the golden ratio, which is zero point six one eight. Hit enter. So we've multiplied the width by 0 0.618. We're going to drag this onto this. Make sure it fits perfectly. Highlight boots and duplicate it. Bring it out. Make sure it's properly aligned. And we are going to rotate this by 270 degrees. There. Rotate it by 270 degrees. And we are going to fit it in here. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. Then we're going to reduce this, of course. And then we'll duplicate this again. Rotate it by 180 degrees. Bring it down and place it in here. Make sure it's perfectly aligned. Then reduce this. Perfect. Then duplicate this again. And we're going to rotate it this time around by 90 degrees. 90 degrees and then I'll bring it in here and here perfect and then we'll reduce this perfectly then we'll duplicate this again rotate it by 360 degrees 360 degrees and let's zoom in perfect so take this and place it in here perfect and then we'll reduce this fitting perfectly and then again we'll duplicate this and we'll reduce it by 270 degrees and then we'll bring it in here fit into the node perfectly and we'll reduce this make sure it aligns perfectly on the node and there this is just step one and then we'll highlight everything and duplicate it. 
and duplicate everything. Now that we have a duplicate, we'll create a circle and all of them. So we'll click on the ellipse tool, hold your control key, make sure it's on the log, click and drag to draw a perfect circle. The reason why we hold the control is to draw a perfect circle. That then we can click and drag it to the center, center here. Right click, hold your control and shift. Okay, not control and shift, just hold your control. Control, drag it down. I think it should be control and shift. Yes, control and shift. Or oh, just shift. Just shift. Yes, just shift. Make sure it aligns in the. Then click and drag again to the center. Right click, hold shift and drag it down I guess this one was not properly aligned so we we'll have to align it there let's zoom in to make the whole thing easier this click and drag make sure you watch for the center center right click or shift and drag it in intersection undo let's do that again excellent then click and drag watch out for the center right click or shift again drag it in perfect click and drag look for the center right click Hold shift, drag it in. We don't have to repeat the process for this last rectangle here. So let's zoom out. We are almost there. Now let's duplicate. Let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate this again. And align it here. Matter of fact, let's bring the other one down there as well. So we're just going to come here, highlight the whole thing, and bring it down. Use our hand to bring it down. Yes. Perfect. So we are going to be working on um, this one next. So let's zoom in to make the whole thing easier for us. So we're going to be drawing the circle. Take the ellipse to hold control and drag it. Okay. Let's delete that. Let's take it to the edge and drag it in. To make a perfect circle. After that, we're going to change it to an arc. And then we're going to put the radius to 90 and set the segment to 180. Excellent. So we're going to bring this to the bottom edge here. Let's make sure it's at the edge. The node is at the edge. Excellent. Then we're going to drag this over here to make sure it gets to this edge. Excellent. Let's zoom out a little. Let's zoom out a little more. Let's use the zoom tool to zoom in properly. Excellent. So while holding control, click and drag. Excellent. Then we'll just reduce this further. 
by dragging this in. Make sure it gets to the edge. No, it's perfect. And then while holding control again, flip it. Drag. Make sure it sits on the nodes. Excellent. By holding control again, flip, then drag it in, edge, perfect. Hold control again, flip, drag, the section perfect. Let's zoom in so we can get the other parts properly. Hold control, flip. And drag in perfect. So let's zoom out. And we are going to give this a color. So let's highlight all of these. Let's highlight all of these. So let's zoom in. Hold the shift key to highlight everything. Shift select all the lines properly. And let's give it an outline color. Then let's increase the width to 10. Perfect. And then next we are going to select, we are going to duplicate this one again. Let's duplicate it, bring it out here, make sure it's properly aligned. Let's zoom in to make working with this a lot easier. So we are going to delete all these boxes. Let's delete the boxes. I don't think we have one. I miss missing out on one circle. I miss missing out on one circle. So let's do let's delete this. That's this circle here. So I we'll have to click and drag this until we get to the center. Right click. Then use our shift. Drag it in until we get perfect circle yes so we have the complete set let's duplicate this now duplicate this make sure it's aligned properly so now that it's aligned properly we are going to delete all the rectangles leaving behind only the circles so let's delete the rectangles let's delete all of them Let's zoom in to make the whole work easier. Delete every one of them. Okay, so now that we have our circles, we are going to align everything to the center. You can do this by coming to objects, um, align and distribute. Then this is everything here align center horizontally, and then object again align and distribute, align centers vertically. Now you can choose to do that, or you can use the, ship, the keyboard shortcut C E, it's the same thing. So we're going to give it an outline of red and also make the stroke with 10. So now that we have that, let's bring in the spiral circle from ink here. So we'll do that by clicking on each of the spirals carefully. And duplicating it, bringing it out, and aligning it 
the fifth lane. So this everyone is the golden ratio. Now with this, you'll be able to design any logo at all, not just logos, any shape, because it is mathematically perfect. So you can from these spiral shapes and circles, and sometimes you need to add a line. You can use your pen tool and just come here, draw your line, and hold your control, draw it, draw a perfect line, whichever way. But with this, it should be able to work independently. And in our future tutorials, we are going to be designing some amazing logos with the golden ratio. So you just stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my updates. It is very, very important. Please help me out by subscribing to the channel. Share with friends. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So until our next tutorial, have a nice day. Bye.